Hello everyone, good morning. Today we're doing a really fun video. We are going to do a fall outfit ideas. I have 15 outfits that I'm going to show you of things I'm going to be wearing this fall, which sadly is really not yet. Where I live we're kind of going through a heat wave, so it might be a while till I can wear these outfits, but I'm getting really excited for fall. So I'm going to go get changed and put on the first look. Okay you guys, so this is the first look, which I really love. I feel like a businesswoman. I feel like a fashion designer in New York heading to a meeting. This is um, a very big trend from last fall and winter that I'm still loving, is the poncho. This one I've actually got from the Goodwill. It's a thrifted poncho and it looks so chic. This one has tassels at the end, which I'm not sure if I love the tassels or if I just want to keep it plain and maybe remove the tassels, but I love the turtleneck. It's very soft. I love the creamy off-white color of it. I paired it with just this longer black dress underneath that's actually strapless as a Galvin London dress, but obviously this is a little bit too cool, you know, obviously to wear in the fall. So just put a little poncho over your dress and it's a great way to warm it up. Obviously, if you don't have any, you know, fashion design meetings to go to. You can change up the accessories, but I just really love this like sort of aesthetic. And then I've got just some of my little Chanel slingbacks. I know that kitten heels are a very big summer trend, spring, summer, but just swap out the open toe strappy ones for closed toe ones and you've got your perfect shoe for fall. I absolutely love shoes like this. They're my favorite thing to wear. So also Mary Janes are very big. I've called this a long time ago on a trend alert. So long ago, I don't even know what trend alert it was in, but um, I have some that you'll be seeing in some of the upcoming outfits. So this is look number one. Okay, hello lovelies. I love this look too. This is such a cute look. I love stockings. These are one of my favorite accessories for the fall and winter. Like I seriously can't wait the fall just to wear these more often. This is kind of like my Rachel Green working at the coffee shop sort of look. <laughs> um, so I've got the same shoes on and just a mini black fitted skirt and the sweater, both thrifted. My little bag, honestly you could wear any bag with this, I just thought the gold chain was like a cuter sort of dressed up look. But you could wear this with a little tote bag, you could wear this with any purse actually. And yeah, this would also look really cute for boots if it is a little bit colder, a knee high boot with this would look really cute. But basically, if you want to continue wearing any either mini dress or skirt that you like from summer, just add a pair of tights under them and it's very fall. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> you guys, I just love fall outfits. This is so cute! Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wear this. Okay, so this look was partially inspired by that one really popular, like, Lily Rose Depp Paris look that we all know and love with the leather jacket and the knee-high boots. I was gonna wear knee-high boots with this, but then I remembered, like, my Mary Janes and was like, <gasps> I should wear them. <laughs> and I think they look absolutely, I'm trying to show you, perfect with this look. Um, they are also vintage. <laughs> this dress is... Actually, you know, I'm gonna link things in the description because my brain, this is also vintage. Anyways, headband look going on here. Let me grab. I also forgot. I have the Chanel sunglasses. Don't we look like we'd be friends? I think so. I love this look. I think this is so cute. I love this jacket. We can even like tie it up and wear the jacket as like the dress. If it gets like really chilly, stop. This is too cute. Oh my gosh. This is like my favorite outfit. This is easily my favorite look with the headband. Bonjour, French girl look. Okay, I actually did wear this look only a couple days ago to go antiquing. I guess that this was my first official fall fit. It was like pouring raining. So I got out the dark blue jeans. You guys know I've switched from, I mean, I still love light wash, but I've been really in love with dark wash jeans. These are kind of like wide legged. I also think they're from the Goodwill. This t-shirt that I have is one of my favorite tops. I have it in like every color it comes in. It's from H&M and it's just like, it feels like cashmere, but it's not. And it's just this fabric-y cashmere like soft t-shirt, but like it has these long sleeves. I don't know, I thought it was just like the perfect cut and I loved it so much. I have it in white, I have it in beige, I have it in black and I have it in gray. So I love them. I have a little belt on. And then I've got this little necktie. I've got my Rapido little ballet flats on. I absolutely love these ballet flats. I die for these ballet flats. I love them. They're so comfortable and they're so cute with everything. If you need to be comfortable, but you want to look like dressy and cute. So instead of wearing just like sneakers and really playing it down, I can wear these. Um, and then my bag again. So I've been loving these little neck scarves. I got this one again at like an antique store and so cute. It's just like a skinny version of a scarf because you can't really do it with those big square ones. Um, and yeah, you just tie it 
on the side and like throw half over the shoulder. Okay, here's my next look. I'm not sure if I should wear the straw bag. I feel like it's too summer, but it matches with the shoes. Or if I should wear the white bag. I think I might wear the white bag. So here's the next look. I put my hair up in a clip for this one. I've got my midi dress because it's fall. We're no longer doing mini dresses, like I said before, unless you're wearing them with stockings. So because it's a tank top, I've got this little vintage sweater, with these really cool gold buttons to just sort of like warm it up a little bit. Back with the Mary Janes, but I've got my brown leather pair. Basically what I would advise if you cannot find good like vintage Mary Janes or thrift any, go to Cezanne. I will link them below. These are the ones that I have. They also come in black. I wanted black, but they didn't have my size in store, but I got the brown because I love brown. Again, the black and brown combo. So yeah, I've just got my vintage little midi dress. It's just got little polka dots on it. And yeah, just kind of sling any like oversized sweater over your shoulder. Here's your little look. Okay, I'm really feeling all these looks. This is so cute. So I've got this little French Connection like button up t-shirt sweater, which I love. If you're excited to get back into sweaters, but it's still not like cold enough to wear like a full on sweater. These little t-shirt sweaters are so cute. So I love getting these. It has like puffy sleeves too. Um, and then I've got these like oversized white high-waisted jeans on that are from Revolve. And then I've got my black patent leather loafers. I love loafers going with that sort of preppy look that's really in right now, but not really styling them with like a preppy per se outfit. And then I've got my crossbody bag just to tie in like the black with the black. If it was just the black shoes, I think they would look out of place. Um, so yeah, boom, boom. Okay, next outfit. Okay, you guys, fall model off-duty look. We've got a lot of firsts in this outfit. We've got the first turtleneck of the season, the first scarf of the season, the first boots of the season. These are some of my favorite boots. We've got some dress pants. Of course, if you don't want to do dress pants and casualize this down, you can do like just black jeans or like denim would look really good with this. Um, so I've got this vintage turtleneck that happen to perfectly match this H&M scarf that I have. Like they're almost the exact same fabric and color. So I paired them as a duo because a lot of designers are doing that right now where they're making like scarves that come attached to the sweater. So I was like, okay, I'll do it myself then. So if you're out, find a scarf that perfectly matches your favorite sweater and make it an outfit. Like look how cute this is wrapped. It kind of gives that same effect as like the poncho that just ultimate cozy look. We've got the first coat of the season. So this is my first um, coat look. I decided to do a coat with this look because the skirt was short. Um, this is also kind of an inspiration from another like 90s runway model off duty look. Um, I don't remember who it was, so I'll look on my Pinterest and get the photo. But I've got my favorite of all time fall coat. And it's a classic, so I don't really think I'm going to be, like, removing this anytime in fall. This really cute vintage Nanette Lepore top, um, I got on ThreadUp. If you follow me on TikTok, which if you don't, I'll put it down below. It's just Kelsey underscore Simone. Um, I did, like, a vintage try-on haul, and this was in it. I have it in both, like, white and black. So I put this over just, like, a white skirt. I was going to put it over a black skirt because I think that's what she had in the photo, but it just looked like a dress. So I just put this white silky skirt. I think this is from, like, Forever 21. Had it forever. And again, closed toe sling backs just to keep it like classy and cute. I feel like, I know you guys are probably not going to be walking around with sling back kitten heels every day. As much as you oftenly possibly can, definitely advise it. But I get it. I live in a place where it is weird for me to walk out with these, so I may not wear this shoe option in real life. Um, but this is like a dressier look because of the silk and then the lace. I thought if this was like, I was going to the city for the day or like doing something really nice, maybe like a fall dinner, this would be cute. Um, so yeah, guys, color time. We've got a color going on. We've got a pink sweater. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we've got this pink sweater. This is also in that vintage haul of mine. Sorry, I keep forgetting to like close this door. All time favorite dark blue jeans. These are the ones from Maritzia. I've had them for years. They've never failed me. And yeah, this is a cute, it's a little wrap sweater. It's got some pearl buttons. It's got like a little string. This is probably like the simplest fall outfit can get. I think maybe just like jeans, a sweater, <laughs> some flats, super cute. Um, yeah. I like it. And even though the tote is like a little summery, I think if you style it warm, you'll be fine. I love this outfit, you guys. So as a continuation to the addition of pink in the wardrobe, I've got this floral skirt on this like very early 2000s. It's like low waisted, like awkward length, but I like it. Um, these are my new favorite shoes ever to the wardrobe. There's these vintage Manila Blahniks with this like pearl diamond little piece on it. I know you guys are like, Kelsey. I cannot be wearing kitten heels every day. I know, isn't that depressing? I wish 
that was more normal. Even though these kitten heels do look good with everything, I've got another alternative I'll show you. But um, I've got this vintage sweater. I wore this with like the Rachel Green look. <laughs> and then again, my white bag. I really love this outfit. I think it's really pretty. I love these shoes. Like they're just so fun. And yeah, I just, I really love this look. <laughs> One second, I'm gonna change my shoes. Okay, you guys see, my version of a comfy, casual shoe is either ballet flats or white sneakers. That's all I know how to do. <laughs> Here is a great way to warm up your favorite shorts for fall. So I have these like fabric high-waisted shorts from H&M. I've got this also from H&M, this really nice tweed pattern black and white jacket. I've also got a long sleeve black turtleneck and then the black sort of knee-high kind of boots from by far. I wore these so much last fall and I love them. Just kind of making the jacket like a staple of the look but like still adding some warmth to cover to the leg with the knee-high boot. I think it's really cute and then I've added my headband again. So yeah, this is a really cute look. It's a little preppy um, and I like it. I love this jacket. I think it's so cute. I plan on wearing this jacket all the time. And I just love Tweed. I think Tweed is really in. I've been loving Tweed for a while, but I'm happy it's kind of having its moment right now. So if you see any Tweed while shopping for this fall, get it. <laughs> really love this look. Like all black look. I've got these fitted black pants, my fitted black turtleneck. I've got my fitted black knee-high boots from by far. And I've got this vintage Nanette Laporte faux it's a little bright. Here you go, now you can see the detail. It's like a faux leather jacket. And again, I got this on thread up. This is just really cute to like break up the outfit. But another thing I love for fall is making the jacket the top. Like I think if you have a statement, super cute jacket, why ruin it by letting the top do all the talking and keeping it open where no one can really see the beauty of the jacket. So when I love a jacket, I love to just do this. Like wear it as the top of the look. Because without the jacket, it's just like a plain black look. But I love these pants. I think they come in handy a lot in the fall and winter. I wear these pants all the time. So if you have the chance to get just like a really slim, just black pair of pants, I love them. Okay, ladies, don't forget maxi skirts. Still good in the fall. You can just warm them up with boots and fall accessories. So I've got my little Chanel beret that I got in Paris that I'm in love with. I've not worn this since last fall, so I'm really excited to bring it back out again. I've got my same little cashmere black t-shirt on, um, and I love this maxi skirt. It's this vintage like denim, but it has floral print on it. It buttons all the way down the front, so I can like kind of leave the bottom a couple open to show off the shoes. So I'm again wearing my little cropped black booties, and I brought my little Lady Dior out. I haven't worn this. I thought it looked really cute with this outfit if I was gonna go walk around, go shopping, nice lunch. Like this is a really cute outfit. And again, this is of course something that could look really cute with some little sneakers or ballet flats. I just thought the boots made it a little bit more fall. Um, so yeah. Okay, now one of my favorite looks that I'm so excited that I get to bring back for fall. I love wearing these like baggy on baggy on baggy, very Copenhagen street style, super comfortable outfits. So Basically, you just pick your baggiest pieces and put them on top of each other. So I have these really big oversized baggy like Levi's jeans. They're kind of like open at the bottom. Then I have just like an oversized sort of baggy sweater. It's not like fitted or like tapered or anything. Big oversized blazer. And then I've got like a tote bag on and just some sneakers. So it's comfortable. And um, I love this look. It's so comfortable. And I love wearing looks like this in the fall. Um, I think they're so cute. Okay, my favorite dress of all time. It's very fall aesthetic with the colors, brown and the black with the polka dot. I don't know, I just feel like, doesn't this feel like a very fall dress? I got this Zimmerman dress a while ago and I actually like haven't worn it in a long time, which is weird being it my favorite dress. Um, it comes with this matching belt, which I think is really cute and it ties at the straps. So for the shoes, I've just got my ballet flats, giving me very Jessica Day, also Audrey Hepburn sort of look, like a mix of the two, in the fall time, which is great. So I think this dress like, fits me perfect. It's the most comfortable, it's the most flowy, it's fun. I got this bag. I thought it would be too dressy. Like if I was going out somewhere nice, I'd bring this little like vintage bag to match the shoes. Um, but I didn't, I couldn't find like a normal casual day bag to match this. Um, so this is what I've got. And I love, I love this dress. It's so cute. Okay, and here we have our last fall look. I've got a little umbrella as an accessory, my vintage Dior. I thought this would be cute. So, 
I decided to end off with a fall classic, the sweater dress. So I've got this oversized like black turtleneck sweater dress with of course my tights underneath to warm it up and to just give that chic sort of vintage look. I've got a like an off-white blazer just oversized. I think that it not only adds warmth but it just definitely adds interest to the outfit. If this was just the plain black dress I don't think it would be as interesting without the blazer so it adds warmth and it just sort of styles it up a little bit. I've got a black crossbody bag, my little Bottega, and my loafers just to keep it comfortable but still chic. I love that loafers are in. I'm really loving them right now. So I thought this would be a perfect last look. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this fall um, outfit ideas. A fall trend alert will be out soon. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Anything that was not vintage will be linked in the description below if you want to shop any of my looks. And you will probably be seeing most of these on my Instagram. So if you want to check that out, you definitely can. And yeah, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.